Hello everyone, welcome to this video. I'm really excited to share with you today the latest on actions in ArcGIS Pro AI assistance. So without any further delay, let's jump to my ArcGIS Pro project and learn what we can do. In ArcGIS Pro, I'm gonna start a project without a template. And then going to add a new map. Then I'm going to rename this map to Buildings QA QC. Next, I'll need some data to work with. I'll navigate to my catalog, click on Databases, and Add database. I've got a link for a database that I've worked with previously. From this database, I'm going to add the building layers. This layer was previously created with a deep learning workflow, specifically with detect objects using deep learning. And if you're familiar with that, the model sees buildings at different scales. Let's enable an imagery based map just to make a little bit more sense of this. We're looking for informal settlements, by the way, and you can see that the model detected lots of data, but this data is very noisy, polygons are overlapping, and I'd like to really QA, QC that. I've previously shared some different tools to do QA, QC. We can do this through different out-of-the-box tools in ArcGIS Pro. We can do this through model builder workflows or even through Python and specific toolboxes that we can create. But I want to take this to the next step. And that's where it's a turning point. I want AI to do the job for me. Now I want to navigate to Assistant, which is in beta still in ArcGIS Pro, the AI Assistant. And you notice here there's a couple of Functionalities that the assistant can help you with, graph query, query layer, and actions. I'm interested in actions, and I'm going to be working with this in this video. Here where you really can create custom actions. There's some embedded in Pro, but you can create your own and get them to Pro. Now, the easiest way to verify that I've got something is if I go to my project, add a manager, and check in there, I have a GeoAI Assistant add-in that I've previously added to this project. And I'll show you that in a moment. What I'm interested here, as I mentioned, is QA QC building. And I'm gonna go as simple as QA QC buildings layer. And hit enter. The action will take a moment to be triggered. And as you can see on the screen, the assistant started automating the QAQC process. In the background, I will show you the diagnostic monitor. You can open that by clicking Ctrl Alt M on your keyboard. You can access the logs through the monitor and see what's happening in the background from the requests perspective and as you can see on the screen the assistant is working through the fully automated QA QC workflow. I'll fast forward the video as the assistant is going through the workflow. After removing all the intermediate data generated the assistant completed its job successfully. Let's now explore the QA QC buildings. I'm going to switch the buildings layer off and swipe through the QA QC buildings to check how it looks over the imagery. You can see that the assistant did a great job in cleaning the data. Now I'm going to clean my project, save it, and jump to Visual Studio to show you how we customize these actions. On my Visual Studio screen, you can see that I have a GUI Assistant project already created. I'll open that in a moment. 
But for now, I'll assume you want to start from scratch. Therefore, I'll create a new project. A prerequisite for this is the ArcGIS Pro SDK. Check the QR codes flashing on the screen for the documentation page. In the ArcGIS Pro SDK, you see that I've already used the ArcGIS Pro model add in C Sharp. I'm just gonna search for that, assuming you can see it. So if you type ArcGIS, you'll see all the different project types that you can create. And for the actions of ArcGIS Pro AI Assistant, you will need the ArcGIS Pro model add in in C Sharp. So you're gonna create this and click next. Test, delete, just cause I want to show you what we can do in here. So create this from scratch. And as you can see, it already created the project directories for one of the main files in the project is the config.dam. Read an XML format that references the different functions or actions that we're going to create to work with ArcGIS Pro AI Assistant. The easiest way to add an action is if you can go into the directory and add a new item and here you'll see I have the ArcGIS Pro and I've already installed the ArcGIS Pro AI Assistant function in beta. This is available in the early adopter program for now. So I'm going to select this and notice as I do that there is a function already created. You can certainly give this a name. There's some parameters that we should fill and we'll go through these in a moment. Also notes in the config.daml that there's already a function created which is here and we'll be using this. So with that, let's navigate back to my pre-created project. Got it here. Let's walk through customizing GeoAI Assistant skill functions in our ArcGIS Pro add-ons starting with the configuration and the config.daml file we see on the screen. In this file, we register each skill function as an AI assistant component. For example, you will see entries like the GeoAI assistant skill QAQC building workflow, which points to the QAQC buildings workflow class in our code. Each skill is described with a name, a search description, and a condition that determines when it's available in the assistant. This setup ensures our skills are discoverable and ready to use in the ArcGIS Pro AI Assistant. The update category, RefID, Azri Core AI Assistant Extension category element is essential. It tells ArcGIS Pro that these components are AI assistant skills and should be included in the assistant catalog. All your custom skills should be registered under this category to be recognized by the assistant. Within each skills content, the AI assistant function element defines the actual callable function. This structure makes it easy to manage, discover, and invoke your custom AI skills directly from the assistant's page. Now, Let's focus on the main skill for today's demo, QAQC Buildings Workflow. I'll navigate to my Skills folder and open QAQC Buildings Workflow. In this file, you will see the QAQC Buildings Workflow class. Implementing the actual logic for our QAQC workflow. The function is decorated with an AI assistant function and a description making it accessible to the assistant. Perform QAQC on the active building layers. The main entry point is the static async method, QAQC building workflow, which takes optional parameters for the input and output feature class. Once the function is triggered, it will automate a series of geoprocessing steps. It will start by selecting our input layer from the project, defining an output feature class in the local geo database, 
and then it will perform buffer, dissolve, do single part to multi part and if you notice all of the tools are calling the geoprocessing execute tool as sync from the RGS Pro SDK. Then goes to positive buffer, filling gaps, filtering by area and regularizing each area or each filtered area based on a certain tolerance. It then merges all the outputs and get rid of any intermediate data and return a successful functioning process. Note that I've registered two other skills in my assistant. Create default layout and generative AI toolkit. Let's return back to ArcGIS Pro to try these skills out. In Pro, I'll close my old map. I'll then insert a new map and I'll call it Agriculture Analysis. I will need some data to work with in the ArcGIS Pro AI Assistant. And for that, I'll be utilizing a layer aggregated from deep learning results of agriculture detection in Lebanon. The QR code for the hub demonstrating this data will drop on the screen. I'll quickly navigate to the hub to share all data under monitoring and risk management I'll see a full extent of detected agriculture in Lebanon with some, again, deep learning workflows, specifically a SAM LoRa trained model. Now this data, once aggregated on the country scale, it would look something similar to this. We're gonna be utilizing this data in our project. Let's navigate back to ArcGIS Pro and start with adding our agriculture activity. I'll go to map, add data, and paste my link. I'll also be working with a fire risk service that shows potential of fire risk in Lebanon. This data is made available through the National Early Warning System platform hosted by CNRS or the National Council for Scientific Research in Lebanon. I'll fast forward through the housekeeping of the layer names and symbology. Let's now navigate to the AI Assistant. And again, I'm gonna click on Actions. And I've got a prompt already created. I'll just paste it in here. And notice that it says Query Data Using the Generative AI Toolkit and show all agriculture activity where cultivated area greater than 450 hectares and intersect very high fire risk areas today. I'll hit enter. And this will take a minute. In the meantime, I'd like to open my terminal in VS Code and notice what's going to happen. This is in the back end calling a tool that is hosted through the fast API. Notice the automation and notice the request that went out. I'll plan to cover the generative AI toolkit in a later video. For now, we'll just look at the results and I already got some data out, which is highlighted here. I can explore the data by going to the attribute table and I'm interested in the 450 hectare cultivated land, which I know that's here and I can see that indeed I only got this and intersects very high fire risk area which we should be able to see below here so indeed the analysis worked fine let's try another prompt where we want to also query the giant of AI toolkit and this time show all agricultural activities where cultivated area greater than 100 hectares and mean NDVI is above 0.7 these are most probably cultivated, almost ready to harvest now. And I want to see the top cities or municipalities in there. This will also take a minute. And notice that the tool already, or the assistant already came back with the result. I removed the old ones. I'll zoom to this layer to view, and I can see all of this data up here. I want to go up in the attribute table, 
and check for what I queried for. So 100 hectares and indeed 101 is the least value and the mean and DVI we're looking for 0 0.7 I got 703 in there. So it actually works and it's really fascinating how easy it makes geospatial workflows. Now to close this let me do something. I'm going to switch off this layer and I'm going to rename this for gay general or generative AI toolkit and DVI results. Just something that would look nice. And I'm going to trigger another action, create a default layout titled agriculture and DVI activity. And I'll hit enter. As you can see, it already picked up the zoom extent, created an agriculture and DVI activity layout and added my legend and the north arrow and the scale bar and all of that configured there. We can edit this a little bit just to place it in a nicer place. And there we go. We've got a layout. Thank you for watching this far and I really hope you've enjoyed this video and learned something new. I'll be posting all the resources I've shared in the description of the YouTube video. Please don't forget to comment, like and follow for more content. Cheers for now.